Magic. We've all been entertained at some point watching magic tricks, right? However, some magic is more than just a trick of distraction or sleight of hand. Many magicians today not only have tricks up their sleeve, but a dark side to deceive. Allow me to delve into this topic and expose deception that many people aren't aware of. So, let's break the magician's code, shall we? So, what is magic? Webster's define magic as the power of changing events by using mysterious or supernatural forces. So basically, magic is just an illusion or trick to deceive people into believing a lie. With magic, the truth is always hidden far from sight, right? So let's call magic what it really is, a deception to trick or deceive. To many, magic may seem like innocent fun and entertainment. What you should know is magic, signs and wonders will be used in the last days to trick and deceive the masses who fall for this deception. Even when we are clueless to how these tricks are done, we let our guards down, right? We get comfortable and we are actually entertained by this deception. Now keep in mind that all magic tricks aren't equal. In past videos, I've shown famous celebrities admitting to selling their souls for fame, fortune, and power, right? So, also know that many of today's top magicians share this same secret to success. I sold my soul to the devil. I know it's a crappy deal. Lisa came with a few toys like a happy meal. If, you're, if your ultimate goal is to be famous, then you're going to do a lot to do, to get there, like sign your name in blood in a contract with the devil. That's how I got introduced to the music industry. I swear I wanted to be like the Amy Grant of music, yeah. <laughs> but it didn't work out, and so I sold my soul to the devil. You know my style. I'll show you what's going on in the secular world, then show you the warnings that were written thousands of years ago. Now oftentimes the magic we see is just an illusion where the magician has secrets to pull off their tricks. Now these magicians may use mirrors, trap doors, secret compartments, or camera tricks like this. As you can see, this is not magic. It's just an illusion of magic by doing old camera tricks. However, that's the first deception. You see, we're all programmed to believe that all magic is just an illusion or trick. One popular magician who goes by the name of Dynamo tells a story about being sick in the hospital. Now during this time, Dynamo says he realized that if he had died, no one would have remembered him. Not long after leaving the hospital was when Dynamo claims his life changed. Now get this, he says he went into the woods and meditated with dark spirits for several nights and when he emerged from this retreat, his popularity began to explode. Hmm. But he had some sort of uh, difficulty in his life and um, he said that, um, said that, he said to people around him that, you know, I'm going to make something of myself, you know. See you in a few weeks or a few months, I'm going to be famous worldwide or whatever, you know, just kind of bigging himself up a bit. And so he said that Dynamo went into live in the woods for a week, like uh, secluded himself and started worshipping the devil or worship something within the woods. And um, I don't know, he just kind of gets submit, submitted himself or something like that for a week or a month, I'm not sure exactly. And then when he came back, his career obviously blew up, apparently. But um, goes to that's yeah, pretty much it. So basically, the, yeah, he he went to the woods, started devil worship or something, and came back out and so became think a he's, big he's, mega star. But like, he, oh, he, okay, he, he kept talking about it. He was like, oh, you know, Dynamo said that he worshipped the devil, and um, you know, he said that he was going to become a success, and he did after after coming out of the seclusion period. So, so he went there in the woods. Yeah, he said he apparently stayed in the woods or secluded himself somewhere in the woods and I mean uh, I mean it's Dynamo, it's Dynamo is I mean some of his tricks do seem like pretty unexplainable 
Now, I'm not here to debate if his magic is an illusion or if he's aided by demons. See, my point is he admitted to making a pact with a demon, also called Jens, for his success. Like I stated earlier, I'll always show you both sides for you to compare. So, let's see some of the warnings that were written about this deception thousands of years ago. Let no one be found among you who sacrifices their son or daughter in the fire, who practices divination or sorcery, interprets omens, engages in witchcraft or casts spells, or who is a medium or spiritist, or who consults the dead. Anyone who does these things is detestable to the Lord. Because of these same detestable practices, the Lord your God will drive out those nations before you. You must be blameless before the Lord your God. of the lawless one will be in accordance with how Satan works. He will use all sorts of displays of power through signs and wonders that serve the lie, and all the ways that wickedness deceives those who are perishing. They perish because they refused to love the truth and so be saved. For this reason God sends them a powerful delusion, so that they will believe the lie, and so that all will be condemned who have not believed the truth but have delighted in wickedness. Now notice how this magician seems to be chanting while doing this magic trick. Also notice his eyes. They seem to change, right? Some type of spiritual meditation is going on. This is one of Houdini's poster ads. Look at all the demons on the poster. Poster ads have been used by magicians over the last 100 years as a way to get customers and others to come out to see their performances. The greatest magician in the world when he died in 1955. Take a look at Dante's poster ad in which a demon is holding playing cards. It also shows a demon whispering in his ear. This is a clip of one of Dante's performances. Notice that he appears in front of a large image of the devil. There she rests. She could remain there for hours should I so desire. But watch. Margo, hear me. Are you ready? Then go! Here's a few examples of promotional posters used by popular magicians in the early 1900s. Now notice, each poster has what can best be described as a demon or devil.
Black magic and voodoo has always been associated with occult practices and principles. Now there's many modern movies and television shows that promote occult lifestyles as being normal and a part of our culture. So, have we become desensitized by Monarch's programming? Hmm. That's why these magicians clothe themselves with death. Their magic comes from hell. my childhood, I had a supernatural spirit attached to me. His name is Desmond. And to this day, I don't know exactly what it is. Some people have called it an angel. Some people have called it a spirit. He's a big reason that I'm, I'm doing the show tonight. I'm going to introduce America to Desmond. Desmond. Desmond came to me when I was about six years old. I had a chalkboard where he would write, I am Desmond. This kept happening until one day I just said, uh, hello, Desmond, and it stopped. And then other things started to happen. Working with a spirit energy comes with challenges because there's no control. So if Desmond doesn't show up, there's literally no act. Desmond has to show up. I can understand why you say that. Yes, uh, he's my spirit energy uh, that I've sort of had a little communication with uh, throughout my life. Also, take notice that many of these magicians are doing tricks that were miracles written about in scripture. This is an attempt to blatantly and subliminally discredit the Bible with counterfeit tricks of deception. It's also written in scripture that during the last days, those whom didn't seek God for truth will believe all deceptions of signs and wonders. Hmm. dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan which deceiveth the whole world, he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. The purpose of this and other deception videos is to expose how the secular world tries to desensitize us. Now many high ranking people in elite organizations worship darkness. Many have taken blood oaths to lead us all astray. Now don't take my word for it. Do your own research. Read the warnings that were written about these times, but by all means, just don't sit idle. It's written that many people will perish from the lack of knowledge. My best advice to you is to seek the real God and ask for discernment to open your eyes. 
and also you really should repent daily. There's many events in the world unfolding to prove that we are definitely living in perilous times. Many people are turning away from God these days. So, as always, keep your eyes open and stay plugged. This is your man 14K and I'm out. Peace.